Hello Capricorn! <laughs> Welcome to your weekly reading. This is May 15th through 21st. Let's see what we got for you this week Capricorn. Oh, flew right out. We have Midas or Miser in the reversal shadow. It is hoarding money and emotions, obsessive fear of losing your wealth. Ooh. I'm going to be honest, I feel like this is less about money and more about emotions. I mean, you may be like really paying attention to your money and really trying to budget, but I don't feel like it's bad. Um, I feel like that's good because I feel like there has been some excessive spending. I don't want to say it's like last week, but I feel like it's in your energy like it was there for a minute. Um, it's more about you holding back your feelings this week it's like you don't want to um how can I say this it feels as though something is triggering you to pay attention to your emotions and we have Archangel Zadia which is self-acceptance compassion and forgiveness yeah I feel like somebody is looking for forgiveness for you from you or you may have to forgive a person or show some compassion or open up your heart um, I almost feel like somebody wants a new beginning for you or you have a new beginning, like a door opening for you, um, success wise or in a, or emotionally, but you have to give in to it. And I feel like there's a struggle this week about accepting what is happening because it involves something that you don't feel completely comfortable with, which is emotional things. Um, it almost feels to me like you're you want to just like run away, shut it down, leave it behind, Capricorn. And then deceit, yeah. It could be that this person hurt you before or somebody like this situation may have turned out bad in the past. It's like, yeah, I gave it a chance or yeah, I opened up to it and it didn't work out. So I'm moving away. You know, I'm leaving it behind. Um, yeah, I'll leave it at that. And let's see what the cards have. Ace of Pentacles in reverse. I'm going to put these. I feel like I want to read them like this. Okay. So Ace of Pentacles in reverse first. I feel like this week there's a couple things happening. Because I feel like money. And then I feel like love or, or um, interpersonal connections. Okay. So... I feel like you want to make more money or you're feeling like you could make more money um, if you will work harder, if you give more to this, if you would do these things, right? So I see you on this path, Capricorn, of making that happen, whether this is budgeting to make better like money decisions for yourself or this is you stepping up your game at work or to achieve some sort of goal, um, budgeting, making uh, plans to pay off debts, whatever that is for you. I see there being some sort of action taking place um, to rectify money situations. It's like you have an understanding. Now, when it comes to love and emotion, it feels as though there was a relationship that had the potential to be something strong for you. Like you felt like this relationship had potential. It slipped through the fing through your fingers, you know. Um, not that you did anything. It was more like there were problems in the details of the relationship. Okay. Eight of Pentacles. Because of a the because of a past and the, the relationship situation. I feel like you really don't want to work on it, you know? It's one of those things where Capricorn, you feel like once the opportunity is missed, it means something to you. Like it maybe it just wasn't meant to be then. 
or there was a problem that I overlooked and that mean it means something to you it's not like you just don't walk away from something or someone doesn't walk away from you and you're like oh well let's try it again you just don't have that bone in your body you know um For those of you at work, work issues or money issues, you may feel like you making all these changes um, to get better. I'm not financially. Um, I feel like it's like I want to say you feel like it's not working, but that's not what I'm going to say. It's more like you need to... Find out how you're appreciated within the realm of work that you're in. This could be comments. This could be good customers. This could be accolades from bosses, winning awards. Um, it's like you need to point out to yourself how you've made a difference. Okay. And there's seven of swords in reverse. The truth amongst the lies. Um, yeah, it's like seeing the truth. You have the ability this week, Capricorn, to see the truth and what is not spoken. Um, or what is not handed to you. I feel like you can see it. You can hear it. You can understand it. So let's say someone comes back to apologize. Let's see someone is mean to you at work, but in your heart, you're like, oh, they're just th something, something else is going on. So I'm gonna let it pass. Don't let your ego be the thing that drives you here. Okay. This week. Someone from the past is missing you. Also, when it comes to money and career, you are in this space of like rectifying things, um, turning things around. You're on a redemption arc when it comes to your material world and your finances and your career. Okay, I'll say that. But someone from your past is thinking about you pretty hard. Okay, Um the thing is, but they feel like you don't want them anymore or you're not interested. And it's not that you're not interested. I feel more of a, you're in a tangible mood of like, you're going to have to show me. All this telling me or coming around and saying, hey, I was just checking up on you. That means nothing to you. Okay. Um. Ooh, this is the week where things start to change. Um, this, I've said this before, not just to you, but to other readings. Sometimes there's energy in our lives, and that is this week, where this week plays on the future. So there are some actions that you're going to take. There are some things that you're going to understand this week. That helps you in the future. Okay. Um, and for some of you. This is someone realizing that they were happy with you. In the past. They're focusing more on the happiness now. I, I feel like when they were with you. They were with someone before you. Okay. And whoever was before you. Really took them through the ringer. Okay. Okay. And then they got with you and they kind of took all that energy from the old one and brought it over. Okay. So I feel like that is a thing. Like they're getting through that and then wanting to like connect because they're seeing things more clearly. Um, when it comes to money and career. Yeah, I feel like you're making a whole bunch of small changes that are going to equate to bigger changes in the future okay so let's see what we have for you this week capricorn
high honor and toil and labor. Okay. Yeah, you're going to be feeling really good this week. Um, I feel like you have all this energy to like start things and get things done. Um, it's like because it's what's best for you. It's the right thing to do. You know, it's it's what a person in higher standards would do, you know, in higher standing would do. Um, so you're OK with doing it. I don't see. Sorry, my eyes itching the mess out of me. Uh, so I don't see you having like a problem with a Capricorn. Right. But I do see you thinking throughout the week or towards the end of the week, like, is this helpful? <laughs> you know, like, is this the right thing to do? Um, I don't think you're doubting yourself. I just think that you can't see it playing out. But like I said, I feel like it impacts you more in the future. Okay. Judgment. Two of wands, seven of wands. Yeah. This is your week to turn stuff around, Capricorn. It is. Because I feel like it feels directionless. It feels directionless, especially when you're used to fighting against a foe, you know, and a lot of us are like that. You know, we're used to pushing against the grain because it makes you feel like you're triumphant over something. But when nothing's pushing back, it just feels like, am I on the right path? So I feel like that's where you are. You know, like that's the energy that you're in. Sorry, I had to get my face together. My eye was killing me. Okay. Capricorn, May 15th through 21st. Yeah, I see <laughs> I see you rectifying your money spending. Okay. Um I feel like you you're seeing input versus export. <laughs> import versus export as far as money goes. Um, like understanding your budget more, it's like you were spending too much. Um, let me see. Yeah. Uh, this is like emotional spending. Emotional spending, seeing that it's not very helpful for you. Um, and then turning that around and changing that. You may need to pay out some money. Um, but I feel like it's okay. Uh, it's like you're paying out some money to like fix a bill or a financial issue. Yeah, but but it'll rectify the th like the situation in the future. Like it's not bad. It's just you know you got to give up some money, some cash. Uh, <laughs> but I feel like you're letting it go. It won't be on your spirit and on your mind anymore. Um, it's the best route to go. This is what's so funny. I feel like it opens up the flow of abundance. So the thing with the flow of abundance is you have to like keep the venue open. You know, for things to flow. And I feel like that's what this does. Whatever this situation is. Alright Capricorn. I love you. Talk to you later. Bye bye.